Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about discouragement. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of discouragement is Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. It says, Haven't you known? Haven't you heard? The everlasting God, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, doesn't faint. He isn't weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. He increases the strength of him who has no might. Even the youths faint and get weary, and the young men utterly fall, but those who wait for Yahweh will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run, and not be weary. They will walk, and not faint. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of discouragement is found in Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. It says, Haven't I commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. For Yahweh your God is with you wherever you go. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 39. It reads, What then shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who didn't spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how would he not also with him freely give us all things? Who could bring a charge against God's chosen ones? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, yes rather, who was raised from the dead, who is at the right hand of God, who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Could oppression, or anguish, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Even as it is written, for your sake we are killed all day long. We were accounted as sheep for the slaughter. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from God's love which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Passage number 4. This is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 6 through 9. The scripture says, In this you greatly rejoice, Though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved in various trials, that the proof of your faith, which is more precious than gold that perishes, even though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise, glory, and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ, whom, not having known, you love. In him, though now you don't see him, yet believing, you rejoice greatly with joy that is unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 3. The Bible says, Don't let your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many homes. If it weren't so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will receive you to myself, that where I am, you may be there also. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of discouragement and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on discouragement. Passage number 6 is from John chapter 16, verse 33. It says, I have told you these things, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have trouble, but cheer up. I have overcome the world. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Colossians chapter 3, verse 21. The Bible says, Fathers don't provoke your children, so that they won't be discouraged. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of discouragement is from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. It reads, No temptation has taken you except what is common to man. God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted above what you are able, but will with the temptation also make the way of escape, 
that you may be able to endure it. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. The passage states, We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, for those who are called according to his purpose. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of discouragement is from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. It says, Let's not be weary in doing good, for we will reap in due season if we don't give up. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of discouragement. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to discouragement and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.